Tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa, this is Eri Katani Whātua Tumingiri, coming out with some more scripts, and um, first and foremost, or presence of the Most High Power, Yahawa, and in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. And a big shout out to all the Aki out there going hard on this truth from the 12 tribes of Israel. Shout out to you fellas. And shout out to all the men and women going hard in the fuck putanga. Waka meninga. Shout out to you too. And most importantly, shout out to the Kaitanufa going hard for the families in the four corners of the earth. Shout out to the Kaitanufa. Um so it's coming up with some scripts so i've had a few debates with a few peoples i've been around northland having some dialogues cutting them up and so i just want to cut these up some more mainly um all you church people they usually need to get cut up but i'm just gonna get some scripts i got me a phone Saying so, I downloaded me the KJV and I'm just gonna get some script for you. So, this is Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6, and it reads My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So according to the Most High, my people are destroyed of lack of knowledge. And because you have rejected that knowledge, he's going to reject you, and you are no priest to him. So if some white man said you're a priest, the Most High Himself said, you ain't no priest because you ain't keeping the commandments of Him. Okay? Then try and talk to me like you're a priest. You ain't no priest. Okay? You ain't keeping His commandments. You ain't got no fringes. Where's your fringes at? That's a commandment of the Most High. Got a smooth face. Whatever. You need to get corrected. So, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What is knowledge, eh? You've got to understand. You've got to ask questions. What's knowledge? We'll ask the most high what knowledge is. Let's get Mac Malachi verse 2 and 7. So, all you so called priests out there, um, you know, all those churches out there calling themselves priests, priests, pastors, um, elders. Elders, um, you know, you're calling yourself a priest, um, that you got the what do you call it, the priesthood. And according to the Bible, only the Levites, the, Levi the Levites of the tribe of Levi, got as the priesthood. But this is uh, Malachi 2, chapter 2, verse 7. Malachi 2, verse 7 For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So this is what you should be keeping, this knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So that's what you're meant to be seeking, is the law. You talk about you know this and you know that, but you ain't even keeping the law of the Most High Commandments. So don't come to me with your emotions, okay? Anybody come to the Most High with the emotions, you better keep your foot. Because things change when you're playing with the Most High. And I, I, ain't, I ain't bowing down to no man. No beast for my father. Hell no, I'm not bowing down to no man. I'm going to cut you up with these scriptures, okay? Come here with your emotions. But this is what it says. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the lips, or for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So. If you ain't telling us to keep the commandments or the law, you ain't no messenger of the Lord of hosts. You ain't no priest 
your nothing. So I'm going to get Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2. And it reads, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. These are two dumb animals. They know their way. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. They know how to get home. But Israel doth not know. Israel don't know. The real Israelites don't know. Like you. You don't know. You fake ass priests, you fake ass prophets, you ain't know, you all you church peoples, you ain't know. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. You ain't know, and you don't consider. This is what the Most High is saying. It's not what I'm saying, if you're hating on me, you're hating on the Most High. Okay? Don't be hating on me for rebuking you for all your wickedness and your lies that you preach and teach. That's done nothing good for us. So it's time for you all to sit back, relax, kick back, because the car 24 right now. And I'm going to go to chapter 4. Uh, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 4. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. So that's you. Gone away backwards. Or backsliding. Or lukewarm. Don't know if you're hot or cold. You know. Or sluggards. Just sitting around. Hoping and wishing. You know. Run to the white man. That's you. You know. That's your fellow's teacher. Say my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And my people don't even know who they are. So you just don't even know who you are. Okay? You don't know nothing. So I'm going to get revelations. One and one. Because. You all want to preach this Jesus Christ for love. I mean, you don't even know him. I don't know who your Jesus Christ follower is, but the Jesus Christ follower you preach it in the Bible. So let's see what he teaches, eh? Let's see what Christ teaches. This is Matthew 4 verse 17. From that time Jesus began to preach to, and to say, Repent, for the kingdom is at hand. So that's what he was teaching. Repent, repent. This is Matthew 21 verse 29. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterward he repented and went. Even he repented. And this is Mark 1 15 and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So he's pretty much just telling you to repent. So this is what you need to do. This is Matthew 18 verse 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, And become as little children, Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you ain't enter into the kingdom of heaven, Unless you can be converted, And become as little children, And ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you just need to humble yourself like little children, you know, sit down on the ground and shut up and listen, you know, 
Ain't no, ain't no trying to overthrow yourself above me. Ain't no exalting yourself above me, sorry. Ain't no overthrowing me, I'm here to teach you. You ain't no nothing, okay? And if you're heathen, you're heathen, you ain't no nothing at all. You just need to snap out of your think you know what it is. So how do we be converted? You want to know how to be converted, right? Let's get it. Psalms 19 verse 7. The law, of, this is Psalms 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise the simple. So the Lord, or the law of the Lord is perfect. So it's perfect. That's why they teach us the damn Mormons and these damn other heathen nations teach us not to keep the laws, but the laws are perfect. Converting the soul. So this is how you can get converted is by keeping the law, statutes and commandments. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise the simple. So all this thing is simple. For, you know, even a, even a, a, a non-intelligent fellow like myself. Uh, now I'm intelligent. I'm just reading speech. But anyone can become wise by keeping this law. Okay? Their minds will get stronger. And that's what the priest meant to be keeping in their lips, is the law. So, if you're trying to preach or teach my father's word, bro, you better be keeping the law, statutes and commandments and teaching us to keep the laws. If you ain't teaching us to keep the laws, you better zip your mouth closed. That's the straight truth. Because the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making the wise the simple. So. You damn church people think that the law is done away with. Christ came to fulfill the law. Let's see what he says. Let's see what Christ says. With his own mouth. This is Matthew 5 verse 18. And it reads, For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, so, so heaven and earth is still here, One jot or one tittle, Can't, one jot is one comma, One add on, you know, One jot or one tittle, Shall in no wise pass from the law, To all be fulfilled. So the law, the mo uh, the, the son of the Most High just told you, For verily I say unto you, To heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, to all be fulfilled. So everything hasn't been fulfilled yet. So that means we have to still keep the laws. And it reads in verse 19, Whosoever therefore shall break one. Salakia. Oh, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So if you ain't teaching the people the laws, you fake ass priests, you fake ass prophets, if you ain't teaching the teaching any of the men to do the laws, you ain't shit in the kingdom. But if you're teaching little laws, you're going to be least in the kingdom. But if you're teaching all the laws, you're going to be great in the kingdom. And that's the truth. So, um, I'm here to rebuke everybody who thinks they know how to teach and preach the word. And telling me how to love and all this and that. What is love? Let's go find out. Love of God. Sorry, first John. 
I always get this one. Everybody needs to be, um, what do you call it? Fish on the floor, I think. And this is love. Oh, this is Second John. First one. Ah, uh, Second John chapter one verse six. And this is love, that we walk after His commandments. So that's love that we walk after His commandments. This is the commandment. That as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. So that's what the point is, is to keep the commandments. Repent and be converted. Repent means to return. Converted. How to get converted? By keeping the laws. This is verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So Christ is teaching you to keep the commandments and repent for the kingdom is at hand. And if they ain't teaching you those, if they never said that, the kingdom is at hand, repent, keep the commandments, then they're the deceivers. And they are the antichrist. So all you haters out there who's hating on me, you're actually the antichrist. All you fake ass religious peoples. This ain't no religion. This is for the 12 tribes of Israel. And you just need to do your homework. You just don't want to challenge me at God's word. If you do, you're going to get cut up with the truth. Now, what is the truth? Since I'm here, I'm able to tell you what the truth is. Because I'm just randomly reading scripts. I'm just going to go with the spirit. Randomly reading scripts. And I'll just bring out whatever comes. So, what is the truth? You find the truth. See, people don't understand the level I'm on. This is Psalms. Chapter 19. Uh, 119 verse 142 so this is psalms 119 verse 142 thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth that's the truth is the law The law is perfect, converting the soul, and the law is the truth. And when you know the truth, you will be set free. So, never been taught that this has been, what, 18 minutes? Almost 19 minutes. So, I want to get uh, sick and Israel's. Six fifty six. Where's you at? So this is just the end. This I'm just gonna end it now. So all you damn heathens, especially damn heathen Mormons, you just need to recognize that it's over. It's over for you and your false doctrines. And and I want to have dialogues with you. You know, I want you to sit there so we can record each other, so I can shame your shit ass doctrine. You know, don't come here with your tough guy attitude. Don't come here with your em woman emotions and getting all violent. No, you want to come like a man, okay? Be a man. Don't get all missionally and mushy. Because straight up, you ain't playing with the wrong people, cuz.
You ain't playing. You're little. You're playing with the most high, your hover. So, I'm just going to get a preset for what I just said. It's in Isaiah. This is Isaiah. Forty one, verse twelve. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. So anyone who wars against me with the most high, you're nothing and you're a thing of naught. And you're going to lose. And that's just the truth. You can never defeat me when it comes to the Most High's word. You can never defeat me when you're playing around with the Most High. Okay? So, as I was going to go, I was going to go to Second Ezra, uh, chapter 6, verse 56. So you can read along if you want to read. But as it reads, As for the other people, which also come from Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. So all you other people who come from Adam as well, who ain't from Israel, the Israelites. Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us, and to devour us. But we thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So, all you other heathen nations, all you other damn heathen religions, these are nothing but be like unto spittle and like a, a drop that falleth from a vessel. So that's pretty much not important. What's important to my father, to the Most High, is waking up his lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what Christ said, and that's what I'm going to say. Because I'm a true follower of Christ. And all I've got to say is... I'm keen to, keen to challenge anybody with the scriptures in New Zealand. Um, it's time for all these villages to be shut down. And it's time for the Most High to give his blessings unto the Māori, unto the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and to the rest of the 12 tribes of Israel scattered abroad. And... I pray to the Father every day that he destroys my enemies. Just like how King David prayed to, prayed to the Most High for the destruction of his enemies. So, Shalom.